All right, you are still watching Waze. Uh, World Jellyfish Day is celebrated annually on November 3rd to raise awareness about jellyfish and their role in the ecosystem. Jellyfish are fascinating creatures that have been around for millions of years. They play an important role in the food um, chain and they are also a valuable resource for scientific research. So. For those that are lovers of the, uh, what's it called, the underworld in the sea, <laughs> happy jellyfish day. Today's actually my friend's birthday. She turned 40 today. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I just remember she's in worry. I called her very early this morning. I said, before my day gets busy. So we have a lineup from the second to the third to the fourth. Then Sansi is fifth. Oh. <laughs> You know, I have like I have a line of people around yeah, me that are like yeah. my birthday people. If I lose copious. Ah, all right, so what did you find for us in today's news? Ah, uh, Okada Rider jailed 21 years for armed robbery. The Lagos State High Court um, sitting in Tafa Baliwa Square on Thursday, that was yesterday, sentenced a 24-year-old motorcycler, um, Idris Agumbia Day. 21 years imprisonment for armed robbery. No, the justice, um, Sherifa Tonaike, sentenced him after she found him guilty of the offense of conspiracy to commit robbery. Hmm. That's interesting. It's the last part for me, conspiracy. He never committed. Exactly. <laughs> so what is the 21 years for? Hmm. I don't understand it. I really need to understand what that 21 year. I think it's a lot. No, conspiracy. So, okay. You know, sometimes you are like co-conspirators. Like, how did they put the English? Yeah. So yeah. the crime has happened. I don't think the crime has not happened. The crime has happened, right? It wasn't stated. Uh, I think it should have happened. You know, it's just that you were both partners in crime. In crime. Something like that. I don't know. I yeah, but the and to find out exactly what was stolen, hmm. right? That would warrant 21 years. Yeah, that would years. warrant 21 years. Ah, that's a lot I feel of like there, there are other crimes that people commit and that they don't way get worse. that. Yeah. They are way worse. I get it. Sometimes I feel like justice is lopsided in our country. It is. Very lopsided. All right. So, um, of course, yesterday we had a conversation heated about this, our, what's it called? Our budget, right? And, of course, like we already <clears> know, uh, the president announced the removal of the, or they have announced, I don't know if it was the president, but I've seen in a couple of news um, that the, they expunged the five billionaire yachts, um, yacht, uh, whatever, from the presidency. <laughs> they removed that and they now added it to the existing five billion that was allocated to education. So making know. education 10 billion. So whilst we're at the subject, I want us to look again into what's it called, the 100 billion that was allocated to FCT. On what grounds? Like literally 100 billion. You're giving 10 billion to education and you're now giving 100 billion to the FCT, saying that they want the FT, FCT to be, what's it called, to, to, um, to compete with any state in the world. This is why they are giving the, the FCT 100 billion. They moved security to 546 billion plus, mm. right? Yeah. So I don't get it because just this afternoon, I have not had time to sit down to read the news, but this afternoon I saw where the president is asking the Senate for fresh loans. Do you understand? <laughs> so <laughs> calm down. We will look for somebody that understands this subject of the budget because I really don't understand how we're not able to to prioritize what is important. If they carry that, I think that education should have been flipped. The 100 billion should go into education and healthcare, while the 10 billion will go to the FCT. Because what exactly would the FCT be doing with the 100 billion? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. What's the explanation? And they gave just 10 billion to school. Mm. No, student loans, sorry, not the schools. Student loans. So they've added that 5 billion to, to, part, to be part of the student loans. We'll take a break. Let's discuss technology and how it's going to impact our economy. Stay with us. We'll be right back.